Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I got a twofer uh, snack review. And like I promised my friend, well, I'm going to be hanging out with my buddy John uh, later on tonight. So, you know, be making content, but won't be uploaded and stuff. And I love making sure that you guys have videos. I always try to anyways. And I promised my friend Trespass Store sent me a whole big thing of different pickles and stuff. And I told him I'd try to review them as quickly as possible. That's what he asked me to do. Um, and I got this right here, the bread and butter pickles chips. And also this right here. And I'll do like two things. And he was saying like on, uh, he was on the live chat last night. And he said I, I was probably the first one to review the the portable chips, the munchies from uh, Mount Olive. So the first one I'm doing is this one in Travis Fest Stores kind of sending these Mount Olive Munchies Portable Pickle Bread and Butter Chips. And uh, then a receivable bag. And I know my friend Under the Dome. And I found about her channel. I mean, I love the the name of her channel because it reminded me of the Stephen King book. Well, the Stephen King book, which I was a big fan of. TV show, not so much. The first season was different. And I, I, the way it ended was okay. And then the next season, I didn't care for I didn't even bother to watch the third season. I don't even think they finished the third season before canceling it. The book is fantastic, though. I found out about that when he did an interview with Robin Mead, which was really interesting on uh, Headline News while I used to watch that. Um, and she commented something really interesting about bread and butter chick, uh, chips. Not chicks, chips. Well, someone had that long, long D. John said they're supposed to be like potato chips, or uh, but may have pickles. No, they're pickle chips, like slice of pickle. And then Under Dome said uh, that bread and butter pickles became, uh, they named that during the Depression because people ate bread and butter and those pickles for a sandwich because that's all they had. I never knew that. That's really interesting. So let's go ahead and open these up. Now, the one the one thing I have to warn you about, I found the hard way uh, last time, sometimes when you open it up, there's juice in there and the juice gets all over. So be very careful. It's loaded with juice that's vacuum packed. Okay. This time it didn't do it. Last time it did. Very careful taking off this vacuum. Oh, I got a little bit of juice on me. A little teeny tiny bit. Okay. It's loaded, loaded with juice. About this full with juice. So you got to be really careful opening these up. Oh, these smell fantastic. It has that thing that reminds me of going to my grandmother. She had, she didn't have bread and butter. She had those sweet, uh, Sweet kosher dills, which weren't, I mean, were more just sweet than the bread and butter. But, they smell fantastic. Let's try them out. But like I said, Transfer Store Side is probably the first on on YouTube to review these. Okay, let's get a thing. Of four of them. They're fantastic. And yeah, he's like a big guy. A lot of people kind of like Sonya coming to pickle holic and stuff. Pickles are fantastic. I don't know why a lot of food reviews don't like pickles or tomatoes, by the way. It was funny uh, seeing Ian K review that uh, tomato mozzarella chicken sandwich when he would buy, he don't like tomatoes and the way it, his face when he bit the tomatoes. That was funny. A little bit of the brine that came with it. 10 out of 10. These are fantastic. I've always been a fan of bread and butter pickles. The nice thing, these are resealable. Um, they were sealable. And like I said, Travis wanted to know, when he sent it to me, he asked me if I could review them as quickly as possible because he wanted to try them too. So I'm going to try to do one every day and then put them in the fridge and then you enjoy them at your leisure because pickles last a long time. And the second thing I want to do was something I picked up from Yoder's Antique Mall. And this, I mean, Yoder's Antique Mall, I always seem to talk about, but it was a really fascinating place. Very unusual. It starts out with a little grocery store, discount grocery store. Has a deli. They said pizza, but I don't know what the heck the pizza was. Maybe it was in like a different room or something like that. Um, and then you go inside. After that, there's an antique thing of antiques, like three giant rooms. I don't know how the heck I cut my head. And uh, three giant rooms. I mean, in the bottom floor, and then there's three floors. 
And it's fantastic. You find anything you anything there. It was really cool. I got that antique bank from there. Like I said, this Centralia is 1917 mild pepper rings. I saw this. I got one of them. It was only a dollar. Let's try these out. No, it didn't. Okay. It smelled really good. I'm a fan of banana peppers. Try these out. Oh, these are good. They're very tart. They're not hot. They just make your lips. Pucker was so tart. Those are really good, too. That's a 10 out of 10, too. Man, he's on a pizza. Mm. Try a little bit. There's a broth on here, too. Mmm, tart. Well, there you go. I hope you like this little two for a review. Uh, the Mount Olive Munchies. Uh, bread and butter chips. Along with that is, uh, that Travis was nice to send me. Along with that is the Centralia, Centra, Centrala, Centrala, not Centralia, Centrella pepper rings. So I hope you like this video, buddy. Till next time, please. Camera Legion.